Welcome back, Noid. Empty silence for 10 minutes. So this is the... the unanimously considered most difficult level of Yo Noid 2. You can play these levels, or at least three of the five levels in the game, in whatever order you want, and this is the one that I chose to save for last because it is the difficult one. Pizza. And there... Ooh, I... I didn't press the button in the right place, apparently. Music's good here, too. I mean, all the music in this little game is good, but... It's, it's cool, too, because the music is dynamic. Changes between areas. Pizza. And there's another key up here that you don't want to miss. It's like the key in the... Pizza. The forest temple. Like, I think there's an extra key in the forest temple in Ocarina of Time that's in the first room, and you just have to think to look there. That was a good jump. So, let's see, where do I want to be? I want to be down there. Yeah. And I think, for the most part, you really only have to rotate that once. I'm not sure if that's right, but that sounds right. I don't remember what I did with my speed runs before. But I have a key. I can use that key here. I'm gonna just do that, I guess. Except there's another key up there. I should get that. Yeah, I'm just remembering things. I'm not super well practiced with this. Pizza. Yep. <clears throat> so... Pizza. Um... Trying to think if there are any more interesting stories to tell with the Noid while I'm, you know, playing a Noid-related game. One of only two that exist. I think this the weird, like, ill fate of this mascot came from some crime that someone committed that was in a Yo Noid mascot outfit, and so that gave the company a bad reputation and they had to discontinue the mascot or something. I'm not sure if that's the case. Also, I'm going the wrong way, so I should go this away instead. At least I have a key now. <clears throat> yeah, because I forgot you have to... You have to rotate this, and it opens this door, but it also opens a door in the other room that I was just in. And you have to be quick about it. You have to make sure that you're at the top of that other room by the time the doors close. So... Hopefully I don't flub this up too badly. And if I do, then call me Flubber. It's flying rubber. It's Flubber! I haven't seen that movie in ages. I imagine that it's not that great of a movie. But I don't know. <laughs> the only thing that I really remember about it is, uh... Is... Wow, I am forgetting the actor's name. But... Tim Curry? I seem to recall Tim Curry having Flubber blown out of his rear end near the end of the movie. And something about, like... Base or no basketball shoes that are infused with flubber to make everyone bounce around and be more athletic or something. That movie's weird. And hopefully, without too much more trouble. What am I hanging on to? I guess it doesn't matter if it works. Pizza. Uh, and I'm I'm dead. <clears throat> this might not be my successful run where I. Pizza. Yep, the door's already closed. Oh well. I guess I still had to deal with this first, anyway. Um, this... These boxes here. At least I'm not landing on anything when I fall down, because then I'd probably respawn back down. Alright, you... 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 And... Oh yeah! I forgot that... That small hole in the ground is a death box. It's logical, but also stupid, Pizza. because you could get stuck in that hole. Well, I don't know if you'd actually necessarily get stuck, because you can wall jump, and this area expects you to Pizza. wall jump a lot, so... I don't know. Maybe... whatever. It's, it's convenient enough, I guess. 
Um, I'll just keep doing what I was trying to do before. Again, with these very fluid, bouncy animations, I enjoy them quite a bit. Those very floppy ears. Very floppy, bouncy, bouncy ears. Bouncity, bounce, bounce, bouncy ears. Um... <clears throat> eh, you know what, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna throw in the towel on this one, rotate this the other way, it's easier. I'm good at this game. I am a master. This is a world record speedrun. Okay. Um, now, so what, I've, what have I been working on lately, if I'm gonna just talk about current events that might not be current by the time the video is up? Like, to provide a general reference point for... Uh, when this video is being recorded. I mean, it's February... I think early February 10th. But the Oscars just happened. Um, and since I never pay attention to the Oscars that much, besides um, Best Animated Feature, all I know is that Toy Story 4 won, which I am not upset by, because out of the nominees, it was the best one that I watched. And it's also the only one that I watched, so that's not saying much. But, yeah, I, I liked the movie, and I wasn't that interested in seeing Claws or, uh, or Missing Link. And there might have been one more, but I don't, know, I don't know what that one was. I know that they are impressive movies in their own rights, just somehow, for some reason, wasn't that interested. But... Okay, where did I respawn? Up here. Whoa. Wait a minute. Is that where I was supposed to respawn? No, I th yeah, that, that's right. Sorry. Never mind. I just got confused as to where I was for a moment. Yeah, that's good. Pizza. But I would say, even though I enjoyed Toy Story 4, Whenever I think about Pixar winning Oscars, that's not the first movie that comes to mind as an Oscar-worthy movie. It's a fun movie, but it's not exactly like... It's not Up, where there's tons of symbolism, or Toy Story 3, where it, like, got super dramatic. And had some scenes that would make grown men cry. You know, nothing like that, but... <clears throat> I don't know, and then there's Inside Out, which just the whole... The entirety of that movie is very artistically made, and also just... Everything surrounds the concept of imagination and emotions, and it's very cohesive. It feels very much like a full movie about one topic, and... Toy Story 4 feels a lot more random, and I don't know if... Like, I agree with the choice of it being an Oscar winner, even though I don't have anything to really base that on. But, whatever. Again, I'm not really upset by it, it's just how it is. I think Claws... I, I assume it's pronounced Claws. I think that one won Golden Globes. I don't remember. I didn't pay any attention to the Golden Globes. Besides that... Jacqueline Phoenix, or however you pronounce his name, uh, gave a very, like, firm speech about the problems with the award ceremonies and, uh, and how they pertain to race and people being overlooked because of race. So that's, it's kind of an ongoing topic in regards to not just movies, but music as well. Wow, I am... I used to be better at this. I knew I used to know what the right jumps were to make, and now I'm just just dangling on a string here. Mm. Yeah, I imagine the door is probably closed again by now. Let me Let's do it again. Let's 
Let's do a mulligan on this one. You know what this kind of reminds me of? Just, like, somehow this design here, which my best guess is that it's supposed to resemble a pizza in some form or fashion because everything in this game is themed around pizza, but it looks kind of like something from Rayman 2, which is a game that I was trying to play recently, but, uh, you know what, that's another thing that I didn't go over. Part of the reason I'm recording this game is because my capture card died. Um, so I can only really play games on my PC and record them now. I mean, I can play them on console, but I can't record myself playing them on console anymore. Uh, technically I could if I wanted to trust that I don't very lightly bump my capture card in any direction, in any form or fashion, because then Pizza. the recording stops. Yeah, like, if I wanted to go off the assumption that I don't do that, then I'd be good to go, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trusting that. Okay, please make this jump correctly this time. There we go. Whoa, oh yeah, I forgot about this. I forgot about this mechanic that I should have known about. Yeah. Boop. Boop. Kind of enjoy this level. It's, again, a difficult one, but it's... It's cool for its difficulty. And a key. I'm not sure if I need all these keys. <clears throat> I think there might be an extra one, just in case you like play the, the level in a certain way that they don't intend or something. Or like, they intend for you to be able to play it in multiple different ways, I think. Hang on, I forgot, it's, it's faster just to die there. And swing, swing like Spider-Man. Pizza time! That really is an appropriate term. I feel like I should watch Spider-Man 2 again. Like, I remember my friend a long time ago saying that uh, he enjoyed the Spider-Man movies, but Spider-Man 2 was his least favorite one because there was no reason for it to exist. Like, if you watch Spider-Man 1 and watch Spider-Man 3, the second movie really doesn't tell you anything that is important to the rest of the series, to the other two installments in the trilogy, which I guess is true, but I still think it's the best one. <laughs> and I'm kind of curious now that I've become, like... Because at the time Spider-Man 2 released, it was more of a novelty than it is now. And, uh, you know, I could have made a shortcut for myself. I think I forgot to. No, wait, did I? Hmm. Let me just turn this around. I might be okay. We'll see. Yeah, but now that I've kind of become... Well, now that the market has become so oversaturated with superhero movies... I'm curious if I would still feel the same way about Spider-Man 2 now as I did around the time that it came out, because it's possible that I would watch it and be like, oh, yeah, it's, it's another one of these movies. But, meh. And the game theory, or the film theory, I guess, on that one was interesting about why Peter Parker loses his powers thought it was actually really fascinating. Whether or not it's true, I like to think that it's true because it's cool. Pizza time. So I got through that relatively quickly, that wasn't too bad. I feel like this is a good run. Even though this isn't a real speed run, it's going well. So here we go. Um, Domino's, Domino's Pizza, Domino's Pizza Box, Domino's Pizza Box, Pizza, Pizza Box, Pizza, Domino's, Domino's Pizza, Pizza, Pizza Box, Domino's. I'm keeping that in. 
Now we got the void core, which is it really the void core when that's the void down there and this is way up here? Usually I associate the core with the centers of things. Like an apple core, you know? Whatever. It's it's a center of some kind. And uh void could just be the four letter abbreviation for something longer that I will choose not to explain uh, until it becomes relevant. So I have to jump for this. <clears throat> I like how much of a tonal shift this area is. And the whole secret with this is figure out where you need to jump and then jump there. More so than the other levels because it's a little bit less clear with this one because everything is dark. And it's not just obvious platforms, it's random TVs in the wall and stuff, and there's an easy-to-miss hook or grapple thing. Oh, oh, here's something lovely. I, I really enjoy this. <laughs> that is most definitely a reference to... I don't know what it is, but it's that. You might know what I mean. Yo, special delivery. Mike Hatsune. So yeah, this this game just has a Vocaloid man. Void might be short for Vocaloid. And this is because, like, this is in the game because Vocaloids and Domino's had some kind of a joint advertisement deal. It's... It's kind of amazing that this works out as well as it does. Even refers to Vocaloids as vocal noids or something, and it's just... It's very silly, but it's it's... Amazing how well this all works together. So now we're on the dance floor. And I can't promise that I will do super well at this because it's a little bit tricky, but... Yeah, I'd say... It's not like there's much of a consequence. Like, dying in this game just puts you back at the last platform that you were standing on. And... Um, getting hurt in this fight just electrocutes you, and then you have to start the phase over. It's still a consequence, but it's nothing too dire. You know, I'm kind of getting some, uh... Mario 64 vibes with this. This is totally throwing... throwing Bowser. It isn't really, but it's close enough. I am out of practice with this fight. Like, I, I've done the throws reasonably well, but I've forgotten how these space out. I'm also reminded of the Mad Jack fight in uh, DK64, because that one doesn't take place on a dance floor, but there are electrified tiles that you jump between. Well, they're kind of. Like, there are tiles that you jump between, and they can be electrified. And now it's just, like, a weird triangle shape. Is this supposed to be a pizza slice? That's my best guess as to what this is supposed to be, because it's a really arbitrary shape otherwise. Ah, darn it. Consarn it. Whatever the frick that means. This song's a bop. I don't really know much about Vocaloids. I just know that... I know that Miku exists. I kind of know what she sounds like. I know that people go to see her shows live even though she's not real. I mean, she's real as... she's as real as anime is. So, make what you will of that, I guess. And, uh, and just, 
Where'd you go? There you are. Yeah. Nah. Die. By which I mean dice. Eh. Nah. Almost worked. Not quite. Yeah, that, that felt like it worked. But I do see a lot of Miku fan art, and it is very cute. And the uh, the Domino's pizza commercial with the deal that has the Vocaloids, it is kind of wonderfully hilarious just seeing, I think, the founder of Domino's or someone who works for one of the Domino's stores just saying, Hatsune Miku? Just enthusiastically at the same time that he doesn't quite look like he wants to be there. It's just, it's, it's joyous. Hello. And we can still dab in the cutscenes. Talk about a sore loser. Everything glitches out. <clears throat> the letterboxing is ruined by the fact that the game is glitching out, and I think that is credits, right? Go. Go credits. I don't know what my time was, but I know that this is going to be split into two videos, so... Yeah, I'd say a two-video series isn't bad. Um, I, I will potentially play this again, trying to go for 100%, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to pull my hair out over it. So, yeah, this is just sort of a filler playthrough. Um, and also a filling playthrough. <laughs> oh, because it's... <clears throat> um, but yeah, I... Oh, they have to point out that it's a not-safe-for-work Instagram account. That's... That's scandalous. Yeah, okay, so it's a Unity game. It's... Yeah, I... I find it fascinating that they they made this game in... A, a soft, software that isn't inherently made to look like the PlayStation 1, and yet they found a way to make the weird texture warping, and... It's... I've, I've found from my own experience, it can be difficult to make games look worse <laughs> in the sense of trying to make them feel the way that they did back in the day when imitating a certain style. But yeah, that's, that's Yonoi 2, at least for now. Um, no idea what I might record next, especially considering that I do not have, uh, do not have my capture card working. I forgot that this game has New Game Plus. I forgot what's... I forgot what that even involves. Whatever, but maybe another time, but not for now. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you sometime. Who knows? Hoo-hoo! <laughs>